Amnesty International says the Saudi woman was sentenced to 10 lashes for getting behind the wheel. The group said the harsh sentence demonstrated the scale of discrimination against women in the Islamic nation and it urged the dismantling of the whole system of women's subordination. This just two days after King Abdullah announced two changes for women, which would be historic for Saudi Arabia. He said women will be allowed to serve as members of the Shura Council, the appointed consultative council that advises the king. He also said women will be allowed to run as candidates and nominate candidates in the next set of municipal elections. It's unknown when those may ultimately take place. The changes don't apply to elections scheduled for Thursday, which will only be the second set of elections in the kingdom since 1963. Amnesty said a court in Jeddah handed down the sentence for driving to the woman on Tuesday. Two other women are believed to be facing charges for driving, one in Jeddah and one in Al Khobar. The Women to Drive campaign said the woman who was sentenced to 10 lashes has appealed. She said she didn't want to be identified or speak publicly about her case for her own safety. No specific traffic laws make it illegal for women to drive in Saudi Arabia but religious edicts are often interpreted as a prohibition of female drivers. Such edicts also prevent women from opening bank accounts, obtaining passports, or even going to school without the presence of a male guardian. Vanula Sweeney, CNN, Abu Dhabi.